Whether you have a Fire Stick Cube or even a Fire TV Edition, these tips and tricks will help you. So let's get right into it. So why am I doing this video? Well, if I get a question that repeats itself over and over and over again, there's obviously a need for the answer. If enough people out there need to know this answer, I'm gonna do a video on it. So I have three questions that I get all the time. So the first is, which Fire device do I have? I know there's a new interface and I've done videos on that new interface and a lot of people don't have it yet. Well, there's a way that you can find out which model device you have and whether or not you're even gonna get the interface. The second one is, Fire Sticks, especially, it doesn't happen as much on the Cube, but on the Fire Stick, there's a little thing that happens, and I don't know why it happens, to be honest with you, but it will freeze, or it will loop, it'll constantly reboot, or there'll be issues with your Fire Stick for performance. There's actually a really easy solution on how to fix that, so I'm really quickly gonna share that in this video. And then finally, and this is probably my favorite, there's one thing that I do on my Fire Stick remote every single day, it's a shortcut button that 99% of the people out there don't even know it exists, and it will improve the performance of your Fire Stick, it'll improve your experience of the Fire Stick, so I'm gonna share that with you as well. Let's get right into the first one. All right, so I have you up close on the screen. First, we're gonna start by talking about what model Fire Stick you have. Why do you wanna know that? Well, if you have the new interface, you probably have one of the newer Fire Sticks. But if you don't have the new interface, you wanna know why, and not all these are going to get the new interface. So this is a 4K Fire Stick right here, but you might have a second gen, third gen, there's even first gens out there. There's all kinds of different devices out there, whether you have a Cube TV, you can find out what model you have with one simple app, and it's called Informer, and it is built into the Amazon App Store. So let me show you how to get it. If you have the older interface, you're gonna to need to go to the upper left-hand corner. Again, the upper left-hand corner, and just do the search that way. If you have the new interface and you wanna find out what model you have, just go to Find, go down to Search right here, and you're gonna type in Informer app. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it right now. All right, so there it is, Informer app. Now, if you select Informer, you're gonna get the movie Informer. So you wanna actually select Informer app, okay? So if you click on that, that's what it looks like right there. So let's go ahead and download it. Let's see what model I have plugged into my TV right now. And once you've downloaded it, you can go ahead and open it up. It's gonna tell you everything about the model that you have. So as you can see here, I have the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K first generation. It was released October 31st, 2018. Uh, there's other aliases there as well. And that also tells you some pretty cool information about your stick. So on the left-hand side there, 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, eight gigabytes of storage. Uh, it is Bluetooth 5.0, and then it shows you your Wi-Fi, your Ethernet adapter, max of 100 megabits per second. And it shows you your resolution, your frame rate. It shows you all kinds of cool information. So the nice thing about this is it shares with you which model you have. And a lot of people ask that question. It's probably the most qu asked question this month is which model Fire Stick do I have and am I gonna get the in interface? So this will tell you here in my other video, I share with you which models will get it and which models will not get it. So this app really is a pretty cool app. And the second most common question that I get on my channel is my Fire Stick's not performing, it's not booting, apps aren't working, there's some sort of an issue. Now this is a generalized uh, question that I get all the time and I always answer it with a question. Did you unplug your device? Now this applies to a Fire Stick, computer, TV, cube, doesn't matter what you're using, if it's electronic, this is always the question that text will always tell you. If you call your internet company and your internet's slow, it's not working, you're having issues with buffering, you call your internet company and ask them why, the first thing they're gonna say is, unplug your router, wait 30 seconds, plug it back in. It just fixes a lot of problems. That reboot process just fixes a lot of issues that you encounter with your electronics. And a Fire Stick is no different than any of those. It's basically just a mini computer. So when I say unplug your Fire Stick, I'm not talking about unplugging from your TV. That's just video. That's all that is. Your TV's not powering your Fire Stick, your outlet is. So 
unplug it from the power source, unplug it from your outlet. And I know a lot of my subscribers that have been with me for a while already know about all this. And it's a simple solution, guys, but it is a valid solution. So unplug it from the power source if you're having any issues with your fire stick. And you should be restarting your fire stick anyway on a regular basis because that reboot process, like I said, is a huge game changer. Which leads me to my third and final tip on today's video. Now this is a fun one because it's something I do every single day and it will improve the performance of your fire stick. It'll improve your experience on your fire stick. So let's get right into it. All right, so now the third and final tip today is gonna be on your remote. Now there's a remote shortcut button. It's going to enhance the experience of your fire stick. It's a simple one. And I know a few of my subscribers out there have watched this video so you know what that button is. But if you're new to my channel and you don't know what that is, you're gonna to wanna to know. So let's go ahead and take it out of the case here just so you can kind of see the remote a little bit closer. This is what your remote looks like. So this is a tip typical Amazon Fire Stick remote, tiny little remote. Now, there's a little button on here. It looks like a little home. I'll get a close up there so you can see it right there. It is a home button on your remote. So let's go ahead and look at the screen really quick here. Hold down that home button for just a few seconds. And that is a shortcut button. So the cool thing about this is you can actually switch between profiles just like that. Again, hold the home button down just for a few seconds and you get this. Now this allows you to change your profile. This allows you to see all of your apps, so a shortcut to your apps, which is really nice. It also allows you to mirror your phone or your computer or what device you want to project it right to your TV, which is kind of a cool feature. It also gets you direct shortcut to your settings, which is nice, and the most important, put your Fire Stick to sleep. Just like you, at night you need rest, your Fire Stick needs rest too. If it gets too hot overnight, it runs constantly, it uses your resources, your performance won't be good. Put it to sleep at the end of the night. All you need to do, again, hold that home button down three seconds, pop up, click sleep, that easy. Your Fire Stick will thank you. I really hope everybody enjoyed this video. It was a quick one. I just wanted to share with you some tips, some tricks, some questions I get all the time and answer those questions in video form. If you need additional help, that's what our Patreon is for. So I will put a link on how you can get to our Patreon. That's private support. That's just for you. And this is not just me. It's a community of people, of like-minded individuals that love streaming, that love devices like the Amazon Fire Stick that can help you out and get the most out of your Fire Stick. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.